Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and um, I do have a Leo, Cancer, and Virgo only channel. Those are listed in the uh, description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Okay, um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Uh, I don't take personal readings, my loves, so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section below is not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is not me. I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot for personal readings. The link is in the description box below to book with her, okay? Um, all right, let's get pop in here. Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please, in love. Tell me about Taurus, please, in love. Oh, my loves, and if you would like to check out my website, um, I've got uh, spell kits for love, money, and, um, oh gosh, and protection, okay, if you'd like to check it out. All right, Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Taurus, please. In love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got hanging on. We have phone call. Somebody is getting a phone call, but this guy's face looks like, oh, I don't want to be picking up this phone. We've got hanging on, romantic dinner, and family. Taurus, I feel like someone here, you're going to be getting a call from somebody that is kind of hanging on to this vision of you guys being together. I don't know if you have children with this person. I don't know if you're currently married to this person. I don't know if this is someone that you guys had planned a future with and this person just, this is, it's, a, it's almost like an energy of someone that doesn't want to let something go, okay? Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, okay? So this is someone that's coming back. They want to talk. This person knows exactly what they want, and what they want is you, Taurus, okay? Um, the moon card here and the five of wands. This person doesn't know what you're up to. They don't know what they're up to, what you're up to, and they're getting very jealous. The six of cups here and the two of swords. This person doesn't like the fact that you're cutting them out. They don't like the fact that they don't know where you are. They don't like the fact that they don't know what you're doing. Um, this person is still holding on. They're, they're still acting like you guys are together, okay? And I feel like, Taurus, you might pick up the phone, but this, this guy's face is like, oh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's like, you're not really super receptive to what this person has to say. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Wands energy here for Taurus. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, this person uh, and the Hierophant. This person wants a future. Okay. Uh, they, they want to get married. This person wants to move forward. This person wants forever with you. This person wants forever with you. Tell me about the moon card and the three of cups. The thing though is Taurus, I'm not sure um, what's driving this person. I'm not seeing love. I'm seeing that they want the the ha the idea of the happy family. They, they want the, like the pictures on Facebook and Instagram. And they want control. They want to know where you are and what you're doing. They want to reconcile because they don't know what you're up to. I feel like with the five of wands, the tower and the full card, this is someone that when you say you're not really interested, they are going to turn into their face is going to like split in half and the demon is going to come out like this this person's jealousy is overwhelming okay their jealousy is overwhelming like you ever you ever see those movies where the the, the, the face splits in half and the demon comes out like that's kind of what i'm getting someone here is so jealous because it's like <sighs> 
you know when you're in a relationship and there's a certain like you know your person always calls and your person's always there and you know they're loyal to you and you know that they're there it's like they don't have that anymore there's that lo- I, that this someone doesn't belong to like you don't belong to them anymore do you understand and that's making them crazy like where are you what are you doing are you out are you drinking are you screwing somebody you know you're out you're sleeping with like somebody is going crazy there's an ex here with the four of pentacles that is not letting go they are not letting go Taurus okay two of swords here and the justice card with the six of swords Taurus I feel like you know you might be someone here is doing what's best for them they're leaving they're moving on they're happy okay they're happy um and and I feel like it's driving another person crazy Okay, somebody is moving on, they're happy, they look good, they're feeling good, they're minding their business, and another person is still under the impression that you guys are getting married, having babies, and living your best life, you know? Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. We've got not speaking, we have sexting, and we've got friendship. Okay, yeah, honestly here, Taurus, there is somebody that um, doesn't want to talk. This is someone that may have now, f they're in a, a friends with benefits situation. Someone here has made a friend. They're sexting at night. There is someone else making you smile here, Taurus, is what I'm feeling. Now, Taurus, this could be vice versa. For all I know, you could be the person that is clinging and doesn't want to let go, okay? And if that's the case, let me just tell you, you need to release this because this person is already entertaining themselves elsewhere. I, I'm not seeing a full-blown relationship, but they're already pursuing other options, okay? Um, or Taurus, I mean, this could be you that's pursuing, a, you don't want to speak to this person. You, you want to go out, some of you are out in the beach, having a good time, uh, you know, in your bathing suit, uh, popping selfies with your friends on vacation. Um, someone here has moved on. Okay. Someone here just wants to go and be free. Tell me about Taurus, please. We've got the lover's card in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. No, I don't love you anymore. No, I don't want to get back together anymore. No, I don't want to talk about this anymore. No, you know, there's an energy of no. You understand? Three of swords in the world card. Listen, it breaks my heart too, but it's over, you know? Now, I don't know who was wrong here and I don't know why this ended, but this could be a situation here, Taurus, where, you know, you're telling this person you broke my heart for the last time okay obviously if there's a breakup here somebody did something right you know so it, this could be an energy of i'm sorry but you broke my heart for the last time or this could just be i'm sorry it breaks my heart but i just i don't want this anymore you know what i'm saying i don't i don't want this anymore tell me about taurus please we've got the queen of swords and we've got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I, I feel like we've got someone here that has to be sitting in two different energies. It's like when they're on their phone, they're the Queen of Swords, you know, very strict and cutting. And then when they turn around, they're the Queen of Wands, you know, at the beach, having fun, bouncing around, doing whatever, you know. And um, with the Eight of Swords and the Tower, I, I feel like... Um, this is just, Taurus, I think you had another reading similar to this. This is someone who's like, their world is falling apart. They can't let this go. Four of Swords. This is somebody that, you know, is laying in bed in depression. Like somebody here is really depressed. They can't believe that this is really over. With the Star card, this is somebody that is still holding on to hope um, that it's going to come back together. But Taurus, I feel like the other person is just out, like really moving on. Page of Cups in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Listen, you have to stop calling me. I, I don't want this anymore. I don't love you anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore. The Lover's card in the reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. I want to be single. I want to be alone. I'm enjoying my life. Do you understand? Um, I feel like with the Hanged Man here and the Three of Swords, the only reason why uh, someone here hasn't completely blocked a person is because they understand that the other person is going through a difficult time. So, you know, they don't want to be like mean. Do you understand? So they keep picking up the phone and with the hanged man, there's an energy of, I know this person's going through it, but eventually it'll click. The light bulb will go off that me and you are not reconciling again. Do you understand? The death card, the world card and temperance eventually and the six of cups. Eventually this ex, the light bulb will go off. It'll click and we're not getting back together. Queen of swords. 
and the two of pentacles in the reverse, okay? What will end up happening though is I, I think uh, the person on this side, the person that wants to move on and be single may have to get a little nasty with that queen of swords energy. Like it may have to come down to, listen, I I'm not trying to be a a an ass. I'm not trying to be, you know, a D here. I'm, I'm really not, but you can't keep calling me like this. Like I'm out, I'm with my friends, like I'm trying to drink and have a good time and you're just over here like on the phone crying. Like I understand that you're hurting and I'm sorry, but you need to like heal and move on because I don't want this anymore. Do you understand? So someone may have to, you know, the person that wants to move on here may have to get a little strict. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone is moving towards something new. I mean, I don't know if that's you, Taurus, or your person, but I'm here to just tell you how it is, okay? I'm here to tell you how it is. Um, someone here is that this is a, an ending and it's final. It's an ending and it's final, okay? So I don't know who needs to hear that, but we just had this eclipse, you know, we just had this eclipse that just passed on May 5th. This is something that's being taken from, from, you know, it's being, this is being eclipsed out of your, out of the, out of someone's life, okay? Someone here is moving on. And they're having fun and they're happy. All right. Okay. I love you so much, guys. And I will see you guys soon. Take care, my loves.